Hello and welcome to another Heroes of Storm video. Today we are playing on Battlefield of Eternity. What's up? I was looking through my YouTube videos lately because uh, I've been working on some content with Grand Theft Auto, one of my favorite games to play recently. Uh, and I realize I haven't done a Heroes of Storm video in a while, so yeah, fuck it. So here I am in the middle of the night, recording some Heroes. Hopefully we get some good games. We'll see how it goes. Welcome. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're on BOE, which means single target damage is pretty important. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ban out Vala. Characters like Vala, Greymane, uh, God, False Set's probably pretty good here on this map as well. Cassie is pretty good. Auto Techers in general are pretty decent. Zuljin, any type of like control is pretty good as well for your ban. So you'll see the bans typically change a lot on BOE uh, compared to most maps, I think. The two lane maps, Braxis Holdout and BOE, are probably the only maps in Storm League that you'll see really aggressive bands that are kind of uh, catered to the characters that do well there. Everywhere else is usually like meta. You'll see like false ad band, maybe a tank, um, things like that. Uh, okay, so Vala ban, Diablo ban. He answers with a tank, which means is there any tank right now that I'm scared of that could potentially be dominating? Uh, Murden's pretty dominant on this battleground. EGC can be okay too, but if he's gonna take out Diablo, I'm gonna take out Muradin. And that'll put Onage on him to ban out False Dad. If he doesn't ban out False Dad, then we get him pretty easily. So we'll see what happens. Uh, what are we looking at? We got Tyrael, Lucio, False Dad. Tyrael's really odd, but doable. Yeah, there's a False Dad ban. Get outplayed in draft. Outskilled. I am surprised False Dad hasn't been nerfed yet. I really felt like that character would be nerfed by now. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Butcher, Lucio, Tyrael. If we want to run Butcher, that means we need Dive. Arthas would be okay for us. I wouldn't mind a Butcher. I'm cool with it, whatever. I don't care. Reckoning is at hand. Opening with Tyrael. Alright. I play to win. With every death comes Eva, Hanzo. Hanzo's another one of those characters that's really good at just clearing out the immortal. Especially if he goes in for his W build. Blades are yours. Uh, which is, oddly enough, not as uh, powerful as it used to be. It used to be way stronger. I would take Cassia here. Which means I would be thinking oh, about the top lane. Well, never mind. That means we have Sonya. I would still want to be in the bottom lane. I would probably want to get some kind of clear. Well, there's our clear. Jaina. Okay. Okay. Alright. I'm okay with Cassia or Jaina. I don't care. We'll see where it goes. Uh, I need to be thinking about my band now. They need a tank and they need a support. I don't care. Uh, I honestly don't care what I do. I'll fill. Uh, let's see. Is there a support that I'm worried about if we take Cassia? I think Anna would be kind of annoying. Stukov would be kind of annoying too. I think I'll take out Stukov. I play Chen a lot. I'm not worried about a Chen. All right. So I need to be looking at a range here. Someone that can help shred the immortal. I mean, I might just go for a gray main. I'm a little rusty on gray main, but he'd be okay here. The wait is over. There's that Cassia. Stabbed away. Hmm. God, only me could be wonderful here. For the alliance yeah, I was thinking about Yenwin for a ban. But I feel like Stukov would be more annoying. If he wants Shayna, then... Wait, I'm just gonna hover Lee Ming and see what happens. Locked Picked a loaded. Nova. Does that work? I mean, when Ming would bring decent damage to the immortal uh, phase, so does Sonya as well. I just don't know if any kills. This realm needs me. Feels a bit squishy. I was thinking about Zul'jin there for a second, because I can get a lot of stacks on D.Va, and I wouldn't be dived too hard. The problem was, I haven't seen their tank. If they get a new Brack or something, it'd be hard for me to get away from it. And Ming kind of helps out with that, a new Brack. One, I can teleport. Two, I can use Disintegrate to get rid of the rep. Ah, oh, there it is. New Brack. Okay. Alright, I'm glad I didn't get Zul'jin or anything. 
All right, like, our, our comp's okay. And the Nova's kind of ass, but when is Nova not ass? It is what it is. Uh, I think they have a better chance of winning this game. But uh, we'll see how it unfolds from here. Uh, as I was saying, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto roleplay lately, and it's so freaking fun. I've been building out storylines and stuff. I know the first couple episodes were a little rough on my YouTube, but I'm getting better at editing them and making sure that you guys can see where my character Dom Flipper is going with his life. Uh, and it's been quite the journey. It's quite the journey. So hopefully you get a chance to go check those out. Uh, I would recommend episode there seven uh, and then episode three for your first couple ones if you just kind of want to get an idea of what's going on in those games and the antics that we get into. All right, here we go. Uh, level one, normally I get force armor. That would be helpful against Hanzo and his poke. Yeah, I think I want to go force armor. You can run Aether Walker in solo queue. But force armor is just safer overall. All right, let's see what this Nova does. <laughs> kind of worried about the tanking as well. I think in general, we're going to be pretty lightning fast and hopefully we can find some kills. Should I even be here? But uh, if we do any long fights, we're going to get poked down like crazy until late game with Lucio. And at that point on BOE, it might be a bit too late. All right, toss him some orbs. What I want to do is try to get him in the back. Uh, with Lee Ming, I usually spam my abilities until about 70 mana, and then I'll start getting a little bit more careful on it. I want to make sure that I'm able to pop in damage when necessary. I'm aiming for Cassia, but I don't mind if I hit a Nubrak. I'm just auto-attacking where I can. Ooh, nice combo. Want of a W here. Nice. That's that Tyrael, man. Tyrael cannot take much damage until uh, later stages of the game, and even then, it's still a bit of a crap watch. Damage on Hanzo here. Uh oh, that was a good E from Anduin. Yeah, there's the Engage we're looking for. He really, really, really wanted that, didn't he? So you'll see me poking a lot, trying to fight for these region globes, etc. Trying to get an orb right down the middle here, hit most of the wave. I auto attack probably more than I need to on uh, Li Ming. I find auto attacks to be very strong. In fact, I'll probably build a talent later on called Cannoneer. Which will help out with that entire exchange. Uh, I should back up. Cassia beats my ass in that trade. Poor Lucio, trying to keep us healed up. Not worth it. Gosh darn these beetles, man. I think it's so rough, my orbs. I will be Where playing a reset base Li Ming, which is intended to play around the level 7 talent Calamity. And you can pop up down here. Uh oh. Did she go for it? Oh, she did. Interesting. I don't think she would. I'm just trying to keep the aggro of Cassia and Hanzo here. Hoping Nova can do something in the top lane. We're not going to actually fight this. At uh, level 4, I'm picking up Dominance. Whenever you get a kill, you will get a cooldown reset, which will hopefully be huge for me. And really work with that Calamity. Should be okay. When it comes to Anduin, he's pretty good at saving people in like death defying CC, but in terms of like actual burst healing, he's kind of lackluster. And then what we'll be doing is keeping an eye on our Anubarak. I actually want the Anubarak to be 10 before me so I can see his heroic before I pick mine. If he goes with Web, I'm gonna pick up his integrate so I can clear it ASAP so my team can fight. And if he decides to go with the other option, uh, I'll be picking up Wave of Force. Because I really like that as a way to get self heal and, of course, decent trade offs and help out with getting resets. Speaking of resets, you do get resets if you kill Diva's bomb here, so I don't mind putting damage into it. Just trying to auto attack where I can. Our Sonya is pushing back top lane, so what I'm going to do is sit here in the middle and slowly siege upon this immortal. If my team starts to fight, I'll be moving in. Sony has not worked it over, so I'm gonna come help out with this push. Sony can bring out the damage quite well. 
did not need to teleport there because I didn't see anyone follow it up. So I wasn't too worried about damage. Saving my teleport because I'm getting kind of low on mana at the moment. Uh, here's an ore. Uh oh, this might be a kill. Okay. Man, this cop just does not do damage, does it? <laughs> All right. Let's get the seven here. I'm going to go ahead and tap from the bottom lane. We want to try and keep this four above half health, I would say. Your goal on this immortal phase is to try and get the 10 as soon as possible. If you can get the 10 right before the second immortal phase, you're golden. If you're behind, typically the team that hits 10 wins the immortal phase. So let's try to soak, make sure we don't die, but also helping my team where necessary. Oh, I still don't have calamity yet. Jeez, I feel so useless. Working on the immortal. Oh, it's gonna go into health help. And this poor Nova just ain't doing anything, is she? <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and siege from here, picking up calamity, and we're good. No point in chasing. We're not gonna get a kill, are we? Yeah, maybe we can actually. Okay, there's one. See if I can. Pulling up the damage. Auto attacking this new Brat because he already needs to dive, and that would be a great kill for us. Nice. Sieging. Back out. I don't mind killing that Cassia, but I don't have the mana to do so. We should be trying to grab this while we have time here, and that also lures him into a possible fight. They do come in. I'm only going to be using my Q here because I want to have enough for a full combo in case Cassia does step up. All right. I must retreat. Cool, we got it. Ooh. Pretty bad teleport, wasn't it? Let's do one Q and uh, W and then run away. My intentions here are to get back and get my mana and try to get the 10. We're only a little bit behind. One or two more kills would be helpful. And we can also play defense as long as our Sonya rotates in to do damage on the Immortal. Yourselves. Typically, if you're behind in race, and we are shortly. definitely behind them in race when it comes to damage, you want to do a four-man defense and a one-person prong, and then it's kind of dance based on what your opponents do. It. Gives you a little more wiggle room. Uh, nobody's looking bottom, so I'm going to rotate down there and go the long way, just because I have no idea if anyone's in this area. And it's very pivotal that I get this experience. I fight for the glory of the high heavens. Oh dear, team's dying. Really, really bad time. I'm gonna ping this. Mostly because I'm passive aggressive, but also because they need to be aware that we are behind. Okay. They're almost not worth it. This isn't a bad grab, but we really gotta make a play after this. Be warned, allies. I move to new ground. Okay, so they do have I'm web. Sure. We're gonna pick up disintegrate here. <laughs> and now knows. we need to play defense and see if we can catch them off guard somehow. Easy, everyone would do it. Need to start moving in. I need to siege from here if I can. Ooh, they're doing their Our camp, which should be an open window for us to get damage with the mortal. DBS is okay, but again. Oh, I did a wrong disintegrate combo. I usually do wave of force, and I was expecting to do that. I'm not going to lie to you. Ooh, that was really bad. Ooh, that was awful. I could have had a kill there. This ain't looking good for your boy. This feels like death, doesn't it? Oh dear. Oh wow, that's a sink. Appreciate that. Can we get a kill? Uh oh, this is a real diva. Oh man, this fight was Aqua Taco, wasn't it? We're gonna get the fort bottom, but this is not looking good for us. Let's go clear top. Oh, we might not even get the fort. I screwed up there! I haven't played Disintegrate in forever. I totally forgot you can like aim it. 
I tried to do a wave of force. <laughs> my heart was in the right place, but my skill not so much. Man, we need to get the four bottom. Big Pepe hands. All right, try and get in melee form, which we did. Trying to aim for Cassio or the Anduin. Ooh, big combo coming out already. Here is the can here. Combo. Disintegrate. Calling up where I can. Nice. We do have a D.Va pushing bottom, but I can't afford to go down there because I'm low mana. So I'm going to back right next to these bodies in hopes that I can get the experience if my teammates leave. Okay, let's get better at the game here. Definitely readjusting. I would love to get that four. I think Nova's going for it already. Yeah, she is. Need to help her if we can. That looks good. Dead. Oh shit. Okay. Looks like Lucio got to her just in time. I'm trying to siege where I think my opponents are gonna be. Nice. Ooh, I got webbed. But I think I get myself out of this if I can. Okay. Let's grab our cannoneer. Which every time we use an ability, we can auto attack afterwards. That's extra damage, which would be helpful against the immortal and potentially my kills. Uh, very helpful against a new brag. Which is surprising. A lot of people don't realize that. New brag can't take much hits. Might have dampened magic, but. If you just auto attack him, usually he has to retreat from the fight. Uh, we should be setting up for a four on one defense. If we can. Feel. Seizing where possible. You and all your servants in hell will cower before me. I get him where I can. Nice. Nice. Ooh, I'm empty. Will it matter though? Nope. Seizing where I can. More. Can we do another one? I can't. All right, we should get on this immortal ASAP. That was really scary. I was very close to death. Very close. Uh, so some low mana. I'm only using my Q and my E for cannoneer procs. I want to tap because I want to get back to DPSing and being in a spot where we can defend because they still have Hanzo who shreds immortals. And I would prefer not to lose this immortal race. If possible. Big way push top. I'm surprised no one defended that. Oh, that really sucks that we lose this keep. We stand victorious. Oh, maybe. Oh my God, one HP. Big way bottom two though. But I think we push for the fort here and open the map. Just need to be next to each other. Give it to where I can. Nice. Still a big way bottom. Man, this sucks. <laughs> My strength leaves me. It will take some time before I can. Alright. Well, hopefully our damage goes up soon. Should I think I even be here? the point that I enjoy Nova is like level 13 is where her damage pops up, if I remember correctly. But uh I do play a different style than most. I play auto attack Nova. Uh we'll see what happens. I must retreat. Oh, this force is dead. There's no way we do this. 
Does my team really think we can win this? This seems like a... not really. Uh, 16 or grab mirror ball. Helps out with the DPS on the uh, mortal phases. And really, really good if I can hit my buttons. My aim hasn't been amazing. I'm a little rusty on leaming, but we're doing we're doing okay in the damage. Not mad at myself per se. Mm, why not? We're grabbing this way too early. But I think what we're trying to do is bait out a fight. I want to save my mana if I can here. Ooh, shit. Oh shit, that actually hit me. Oh, some damage. I got webbed, which is fine. I think we just back out from here. Tap. Ooh. Oh, that needs more than I wanted it to. Beetle is making it hard for me to step up. There is no escape. Justice. This is a really weird fight. All right, I'm gonna start moving towards this. Okay, my team comes. Ah, health returns. We were really slow on that rotation, weren't we? Very slow. Well, now we're kind of forced to fight. Which really sucks. We're getting pushed in the top lane. And they have all the control. Ooh, I have no mana. Okay, I'm leaving. To defend top. That's all I can do. I'm gonna ping this. It's only 60 minutes, but we should really get those catapults if we can. Oh, hopefully someone gets some. I think someone is. Where to? It's very obvious their main goal is just to all in me every fight. Which, honestly, not to sound egocentric, not a bad call. Didn't see this coming, did you? Okay, I need retreat. to pull back. I'm making a tactical world, retreat. Up to about 80% arts. mana, and Shine off we go to top all. lane. I want to be there as soon as I can. And uh, hopefully we can pull this out of our butthole, huh? That would be kind of nice. There is no place where evil can hide from my gaze. Again, you're back where I can. All right, finally got the fort, so that's good. Siege on this fort. Oh darn! I thought that was to fall down. That was a really hard engage for that guy. Battle. I will return again soon, heroes. Oh, actually hit me. Interesting. Here we go. The Oh, is gonna kill there? I don't know why I trouble myself. We have catapults pushing bottom, so I actually want to keep sieging if I can here. Ooh, just got the reset there. Barely. Love to see it. Turn away from the chain ball. We're about to 20, actually. Which is really, really nice. I think we just grab this. And then push in the top. Uh, let's pick up Timbo of Flux. One, because I'm rusty on my rotations. And uh, two, I think it's actually really, really helpful. Because the new Breck is making yeah. some really dumb dives that I think I can punish well done, if I play it correctly. Keep we should try to take this. The Diva being gone. We immortals 
shall return before long, heroes. Okay, good stuff. I'm okay on mana. I'm gonna run down here and get this pushing real quick. But I agree with that. I just want this region globe Our real quick. Requires help. For the mana. And then we can get this pushing next. Being four, because I want to get my cannon air procs. Repent before my wrath, demon. Okay, so that'll be pushing bottom, which is really good well for us. Now we gotta do a siege up and try to watch the Adubrak. Here we go. Ooh, that was a really big arrow. Really big arrow. Slowing down whoever I can. Get some good damage in. Falling up to a combo. It's aggressive. Got a reset. Falling him up again for slows. Reset on him. Slowing the Anduin. Now looking over to the Cassia. Now I need to walk over. Monotex in. Watching out because Cassie is actually kind of insane when it comes to damage. Looking at top lane, it's gonna ping it. It is time for a change in strategy. Gotta pull back for now. Never end. Gonna tap. Tapping this, and I'll be there. Don't worry. I think you'll regret this. Gonna take three. This guy needs to chill out. Tapping on that is perfectly fine. Because we're getting the region globes, it's gonna be 80%. And we're gonna be up reps anyways. He has three dead on the opposing side. There's no way they're overstepping with an Anduin. Needs to chill, man. Perfectly fine. Alright. Get this push in top. Uh, that should push. I don't think there's gonna be a wave there. I think Nova actually got that wave running. Good job, Nova. My Sonya needs to not end in the bottom lane, which I think she's not doing, so it should be a okay. Let's see if we can finish this game smoothly. Ow! Jesus! What the fuck was that damage? I'm so slow down here. Good. Such a huge for us. Web is still up, so we need to be a bit careful if we can. Okay, keep moving in. Helping out with that. So the flow's going. Falling up to a full combo. Beautiful, and that should be the kill. Beautiful. Good job, guys. We got the win somehow. Even though they had the better team, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Minecraft with auto streams. They're super fucking fun. I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.